and uh, first up is the House of Da Vinci, and that's one hour maximum per game, as always. Let's have a look. It's a bit of a puzzle game, I think. See, Florence, I was correct. You can't see because my big head is in the way, but yeah. 1506. I can drag the mouse to look around, okay? Uh, can I invert that? Gameplay? Yeah, it was inverted. It, no, it wasn't. <laughs> okay, so this is the normal way for me to move. Double click the guard to get a closer look, okay. Double click on the scroll to focus on it. Oh, here. He's got a scroll in his hand. Click. I wonder who wrote this letter and what's it, uh, what it's about. Um. Letter from Leonardo. I'm waiting for someone to read it to me, but that's not going to happen, I think. Uh, you can use the right click to leave the screen currently. Okay. Dear friend, I'm sending this message to you through a trustworthy messenger, as events of recent days do not allow me to meet you personally. For a long time, I've been working on an extraordinary invention. It is so significant that it goes beyond everything I created before. On the one hand, the machine fills me with pride, but I'm also fearful lest the uh, invention fall into the wrong hands. That's hard to read font. Right? But it's, it's okay, I can read it. Uh, this is the reason why the entrances to my house are well secured. This is my plea to you. Gain entry to my library where you will learn more. In the mailbox you will find my new optical invention, which I have named the Ocu Oculi Infinitum. I know you well and I'm convinced that you are very gifted. I'm okay, no pressure. I'm sure you will discover how to use it. Signed by Leonardo, who lives in Vinci. Also born there. Right, so that's the trustworthy and armed messenger who's got a bunch of keys. Okay, we're going to zoom out. Uh, double click on the entrance door and left. Oh, that's that's not the house of Da Vinci. This is the one here. I know this place. It's an entrance to the master's house used by servants. With an intricate lock. What do we have here? Wait. We can we can move this up. Wait, no. I'm zooming out. No, I'm not. <laughs> what? Oh, there was some some of the upper part that was moving. Yeah, this. And it's doing something on the bottom. All right. Okay. Porting this. <laughs> Pika, welcome in. Um, I think this works better with the touch screen. Actually, um, but it's it's a lot like the room. It's a lot like the room. Um, have you played the room? One, two, three, four. They are really good games. They are a bit more accessible, even. Uh, I would say more straightforward controls uh, but this is very close items marked with a plus like this must be combined with other objects to complete them okay yeah this is the mailbox right but it's it's not super abstract here right the goal is clear we're gonna uh, I'm not sure if it's designed for the touch screen. Um, let's have a quick look. Uh, 
Lots of blue brain games, mechanical puzzles. I'm trying to figure out. Let's just a quick look at the website. I want to see if it's. Uh... There are three games now. This is the first one. The third one is the uh, most recent one. There's the website. And uh, Apple, iPad, Google Play, Android are the first mentioned. So I think it's been it's been uh, developed with uh, touchscreen in mind first. But it's also available on Switch and uh, Steam PC and UG PC. So I think they've developed it, the series with touchpads in mind, but it, it works with the uh, with the PC. All right. Slide this, and then we can turn it. Oh yeah, cool. Hey, Poetrix, welcome in. We are having a look at House of Da Vinci, the first game. That's the first game of today's discovery. There's the playlist. It's an awesome playlist. So we have a key, and can open the mailbox here. Yeah. Right, I wonder what we do without the tutorial. Eh? <laughs> this looks cool. This must be the Oculi Infinitum Leonardo mentioned in his letter. Where can I test it? Well, click and drag on the lens uh, icon to use the thing. Uh, okay, I want to go back. I'm locked in because of the tutorial. Uh, Spider Man, yeah. So this is a bit like in the room. In the room, you also have a lens that lets you see, uh, you, know, you know, previously invisible shenanigans. Now, okay, now we see the locking mechanism, and we don't need to be super super smart safe crackers. Of course, Leonardo da Vinci invented a holographic uh, X-ray device. <laughs> Naturally. What? <gasps> oh no, it's the Wrath of the Lich King. Poor Brad, he was only two days old. Where did the guard go? Did he explode? Oi! That's Leonardo's flying machine. Uh, dropping machine. Like a stone. What just happened at the body of Fiorentina? I don't know. The rubble from the blast. <gasps> the rubble from the blast must have hit the master's house. I hope he was not injured. Quickly. <laughs> Holy flying contraption, Batman. Let's get into the house. <laughs> hey, Tom X, welcome. Sorry, I'm making a bit of fun here. Oh, well, they don't have uh, someone who cleans the house. Wait, is this is this a button? Everything's gonna be secret button, all right? Uh, can I? All right, ascend the stairs. A falling machine, very successful. Me. Ah, how does this work? It's awfully dark. Welcome everybody. To Leonardo's house. But it's, the lighting is nicely done. The master's library where he seeks inspiration gains knowledge. Surely I'll find some clues here to what has happened. But what about the person who dropped from the sky? Did we, did we ignore that? Okay, so we'll just open this. We have a seal with two markings on it. Hmm, curious. You now find yourself in a library that, with its solid walls, protects the wisdom gathered here for centuries. 
Because I'm Leonardo da Vinci and I'm 400 centuries old, at least. I'm uh, ori originally I'm dinosaur. Um, I'm being pursued by dangerous people, and this is the the only place where I'm able to find peace and inspiration. Yes. This room also hides a passage to my workshop. It's not very secret if you write it into the bloody letter, which is known to no one beside myself. In order to discover the way into the workshop, you will have to use your astute mind and your super lens. Oh. Um, somewhere in here, I've hidden another invention that will help you find your way further, but I'm not going to tell you where, because I can be secretive. Never forget, the one tool that best allows people to understand the world is the accuracy, consistency, and precision of their observations. The password is 4, 3, 2, 0. Now, secure passwords like that are not allowed. I'm just going to have a look around here. So up and down, camera movement, there's not a lot of it. Uh, which is good, then we don't need to look at that much uh, space. There's a notebook there, can I click on that? Anything else? Hello, you. Ah, well, there's a keyhole. Can I inspect this further? Oh, I can open it. <gasps> The ding. Oh, I like this. This, you know, you do this in Shadow of Mordor a lot. <laughs> Looking for the point at which you get lore. So I'm a master at turning things around. You do this in Lara Croft as well. So I'm a highly trained uh, things turn around person. An ivory inlaid box. I wonder what's hidden inside. Ah. Uh, you uh, said. Ah. Uh? Do you fit? Well, there's another, another part of that flower-like thing that we need to find. Okay. Oh, hello. That's a good fit. He's going to open his mouth. That creepy. Eh! Ooh. It's like Monty Python, isn't it? <laughs> it's like... <laughs> Hello. Uh, so I guess the green gem goes in there, right? What? Yeah. No, it works all right. The controls, uh, the controls really work all right. It's, it's a teeny tiny bit clunky with the mouse, um, but it it works really well. It's probably more fun on a touch screen. Has to be said. Oh, is that a glove for this thing? Power glove. Leonardo da Vinci invented the power glove in 1506 and Warhammer 40k stole it. Now we know. Just, you know, tell your grandmother. She wants to know. Uh, so. X marks the spot. Uh, whoop. Hmm. That's another keyhole. Okay. And Thanos ruined. <laughs> he totally did, didn't he? he? Totally did. Right. We're still looking for a piece of that flower thing to open uh, the rest of his head. With the window. Is that something? No. There's something here. I saw that earlier. There. Uh. No. Oh wait. Oh, can we? Uh, can we move this up? No. Okay. Fair enough. Something on the letter. No. Okay. I feel like I feel like that thing over there is important. Yeah, the window looks really cool. Okay, uh, let's go back to the head. Ah. Oh, there's a second side to this. 
Ooh, found you. Right. Okay, we move these in place and then open up. A wooden rose. Mm hmm. It has to be combined with something else. Okay. Oh, there's another X. No, that's the same X. Ha ha ha. But what do we come? Oh, maybe there's something on the floor. Ooh. Oh, I actually can look further up with the. Uh... Oh. Wait. Five six. That's the password. Five six seven eight nine ten. We. Wait, I suddenly I can look further up and down, which is uh, interesting. Hmm. Is there something that interacts? No. It's a bit of a pixel hunt, isn't it? Does this have like a second function? No. It okay. It didn't look like it. No, but that's part of a key, isn't it? Oh, wait. If it's going to be so much pixel hunting, that's not going to be my favorite game ever. I mean, um, not like that I'm opposed to finding hidden objects, but I'm now clicking on everything. <laughs> Just randomly. Because I didn't, I didn't see any more of these hints here. And my mind is not astute enough, apparently. Hmm. I mean, there's an option that gives you hints. You turn that off on purpose. It's on by default. What do you call a man without body and nose? Nobody knows. Oh, God. Oh, God. Ah, see, it is important. You just can't click on it from over there because that would that would make sense to be able to go there from here. Uh, okay. And turn off the hints again. <laughs> but yeah, I, I think that's how I would handle it. As soon as I get stuck, I can turn on the hints and then, you know. Uh, continue. Ah. Lots of names. Oh, that's Kickstarter backers? No, everybody in Florence was named Amanda Harold, obviously. Barbara Johnson in fat print. Na, 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 na. So many Davids. Mind numbing. That, 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 that. Oh. Are there bold prints? Is that kind of important? Like, uh... no. Yeah. Okay, so we know that there are other places we can visit. We just have to click on them from, oh, hello. <laughs> Achievement! Printing press! Okay. More books. Na, 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 na. I 
I'm hoping for him. <laughs> Baba, thank you for supporting this game. Yes, I'm going through all the books. Penny, thank you. Mr. Mason. Yup. M is a very popular name. Okay, I guess all books colored like that are Kickstarter books. thought I thought I found something relevant to the game okay hints again would be nice if there would be a, a quick button for the hints it's gonna be something super obvious like but I cannot slide these in any way but there's, there's something about this that we need to do. Does the rose... Does it fit here? Yeah. Oops. I clicked out of bounds. Oops. Ah, well, he didn't invent the printing press. I think that, that goes to the Chinese. And popularized and industrialized in Germany. later but da vinci probably also invented a printing press but you know okay there's the hint there's one more item remaining in the compartment of the helmet is there oh yeah, it was camouflaged. <laughs> oh, do they copy everything? I'm not so sure. T-Bank, welcome in. And... Let me copy the... Ornament. Um, let's try the wire. Up there. Oh, I know. No. Is it is it supposed to be uh, a lock pick? I felt like that that the gray thing in the gray box was kind of easy to miss, but I can't really complain, can I? A brass screw. Would you look at that? Oh yeah, I need to read this. No, like this. Squeak, squeak, squeak. Ta da The wooden rows of finding things. Uh, let's try that here. Le magic. Oh. So the plan is to slide the rows all the way up. Ah, uh, okay. It's like memory. Okay, I don't need to go back there. No. 
<laughs> it's, it's such a time consuming lock though if I want to save somebody uh, I'm too late <laughs> And now I can slide things about. With the rose in it. Maybe not. Looks like it's got good options. to turn it around while the rose is in there but that's not an option okay so I can turn this one around then Because... Oh no, that's not gonna work. Uh... Oh, yeah, okay, I see. Uh... Can I? Oh, I can't, I can't move the... Okay, I can move that around. But I cannot move the square... Uh, the circle thing. I can just turn it. Can I move this up and down? Um. Yeah, puzzling indeed. But I can't move it to the right when the rose is on top of it. Eh. Hey, Emery, welcome. I can't also. I can't move the circle thing when I'm on this one here. Turn that on again. Why does it say clockwise? Oh, I can't. Ah, oh, that's the parking spot. Ah, okay. I see. That was the parking spot. That makes a lot of sense, doesn't it? And uh, this. do anything with that one. Oh, do I need to build the... I can't. Right, I thought maybe I need to go... 
Oh, maybe I do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I need, I need to go down here in the middle. What's on the right? Yeah, I can park there then. Turn this around and then... Uh, oops. Yeah! Well, it, it doesn't make too much sense, but it works. See, and that opens the ivory... It's a dragon! It just went down. Okay, yeah, then we can open that and then... Richly ornamented seal. So I'm, I'm just going to look if there's more in the dark secret spots. <laughs> okay, it goes on top here, I guess. It does not. It has four th square bobs. Oh. It's adjusted. Okay, that's a light puzzle. Oi. Right. Yeah, we need to adjust. Okay, these we can't turn. And there's, there's one in every corner. Oops. Right. That's it. That was easy. Oh. No. More Kickstarter backers. <laughs> I knew you could do it. Well, it took you long enough. <laughs> the following lines are for your eyes only, which is why I hid them in this secret place. It only took 10 minutes to get there. Our enemies pose more and more barriers to knowledge, wanting to know more than they're able to understand. Our enemies pose more and more barriers? That's a translation issue. Uh, you have proven you have an open mind and deserve to see that which must remain invisible to the eyes of others. I leave you with my last invention. I named it the Oculi Tempest. If it will allow you to look into the past and help you in your search for the secret passages to my workshop. Watch for the unusual, perceive the extraordinary, and keep your mind awake and your eyes opened. Found another useful device. Hmm. I can see something in the corner. Try to retrace the geometric shape as accurately as you can. Yeah. Like so? Oh. 
Okay, I think I know enough. Oh, but... Ah, okay, just had to. I see, I see. Don't walk into the dark room backwards. <gasps> A hooded figure. Alright. Um, it's half an hour, right? Approximately. The statue of himself? No. The secret workshop. Uh, who was that observing from above? It's like the room. Just a tiny bit different. Um, because you're interacting with the whole room instead of just one contraption. It's a bit harder to figure out what to interact with. But I guess these two help, helpful things here, they will... Um, there will be enough guidance and when in doubt you can always um use the help button yeah i wish i could have a look huh? right it would be nice to be able to navigate on purpose and not uh, trying to find the click Click site. But then again, it's it makes sense to interact with this first, right? Okay. Um, the first bits of the room are also very easy, right? The first game, at least. This has a bit more graphics fidelity compared to the first room. I mean, it's it's subjective. It's totally subjective. I don't I don't want to seem like a, I'm a condescending arse. <laughs> uh, I, for me, they seemed uh, about equally challenging. Mm, but yeah, they, I mean, if you finish all the room games, the House of Da Vinci is uh, is definitely more more of what you want. And um, if you can grab it on sale, it's quite it's quite good. But it's also not more. There, there's not more to it than we just saw in the first thirty minutes. It's just gonna have a, maybe a bit more complexity, uh, mix and match types of puzzles. Um, but yeah, I think we saw the two mechanics of the glove, and that's what they work with. Uh, I think the the temporal uh, back and forth slider is an interesting idea, at least. Uh, there was a question about the achievements. There's an achievement. So. Right, and there's uh, the Codex Atlanticus, apparently from 1478, mentioning the German invention of the printing press. And I have no idea if this is actually something that Leonardo wrote and or not. Kind of, that makes it kind of pointless, I guess. If it, if it's just the developers thinking what what would what would have been written, right? There seems to be Wikipedia in full, at least. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. Fair enough. That's that's neat. Not too bad. But I don't need to see another thirty minutes to figure out what the game's all about. So I th I think we saw enough of that. Uh, a very positive, uh, positively received on Steam, the first game. Um, there are two other games, uh, the second and the third game. Uh, I think this one is a 2017 release and the third one is last year in December. So yeah, basically earlier this year. And uh, individually and also as a bundle only, 
only on the sale and i think the first one is currently oh it's not on sale all oh, right because it's priced at 20 euro and that's too much uh way too much i think but on the sale it was a good grab because that's where i got 